Good morning everyone, it's Pierre speaking. It is Tuesday morning, it's the 18th of July 2017. Let's have a look at the market, starting off with the Euro US dollar. If we look at the direction indicator, everything tells us here to look for longs on the 4 hour and the daily. Last week we had a nice rally, we closed 72 pips higher in the opening. So we can flip the 4 hour from the bottom of last week to the new highs that we made this week. Then we've got a trading zone starting at 1456 coming down to 1413. In the trading zone, we have a weekly main pivot point. The 55 EMA is there as well. So that will be my main areas. 1447, 1426 for possible support areas to go long again. Also keep your eyes on the 38.2 FIP because if we look to the left of the chart, it was last week's high area. So that can be also a problem area. So now we have three levels to keep our eyes on. 1476, 1447, 1426. Currently, we're hitting a weekly pivot point here at 1523. We can see MACD is high, Stochastic is overbought, and if we go down to the one hour chart, we can see that MACD is starting to roll over, Stochastic overbought. So keep your eyes on that for possible trade, and it will be a counter trade. If we do get a short, keep your eyes on profit take 1476, 1456 on that one. Euro JPY daily chart, this one we need to look for longs. However, if we look at the direction indicator, the 4 hour tells us to long, daily tells us to long, but last week we closed 106 pips lower than the opening, so we can't flip the 4 hour, we need to flip the daily then. If we do that, we flip previous month from the low to the highs that we've got this month, then we've got a trading zone starting at 126.63, coming down to 124.52. In the trading zone, we have a monthly main pivot point at 12651, so that will be our first area in the zone, and 12617, where the 55 EMA is. Now, before we get to the zone, we've got another roadblock area in this area here. At the 58.2 FIP at 12763, we have the 34 EMA and this 200 EMA, which is the 4 hour 200 EMA, it's also a psychological level. So keep your eyes on this area as well, 12763 coming down to 126.96 for possible longs again. Currently, we're sitting at this 55, which is the 4 hour 55. We're not going anywhere. That is already 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days where we're going sideways. Now, this will be still a key resistance area for this one because we've got a 55 monthly EMA day. We've got a 200 monthly EMA day. We've got a daily 200 EMA day, a monthly resistance pivot point. So that is a huge area. I showed you last week already and I think some of the guys took some nice counter trades from that level. So that will be a key area for us again. Look at the boiling of bands. Boiling of bands are busy making tweezers. When that happens, it means volume and momentum is dropping on this pair. And we can see it on the daily candles already. For five days, we're going nowhere. We're going sideways. And that is why the boiling of bands are busy pulling together again. And there goes my neighbor's lawnmower. <laughs> do apologize for that, guys. I won't be able to edit that out. Euro pound daily chart. Why the daily chart? Well, the four hours mix, the daily tells us to long, and last week we closed minus 94. So the main trend is still up, but last week we closed lower than the opening, so we will have to flip the daily chart for that zone. If we do that, we flip from the bottom to the top, then we've got a trading zone starting at double eight double zero, coming down to 8725. In the zone, we have a 200 EMA, the monthly main pivot point, and this 55. And I told you guys yesterday, keep your eyes on this level, 8744. Now, price touched that lift, uh, level yesterday, and from there on, we rallied for about 60-odd pips. But look at this candle now. We're hitting the 55 at 8809. Okay, it's a 4-hour 55, and that can be a problem for us. So if you're still in a long, take note of this level as this can give us resistance. While this 55 volts at 8.7.4, my bias will be too long. If we break that to the downside, guys, be careful as we can go and visit 8.6.5.2, which is last month's low area, plus the monthly pivot point, and as the days go past, this EMA will move up as well. So it will meet up with 8.6.52. So take note of that one. If you look at the pound US dollar 4 hour chart, beginning of the week, everything tells us to long 4 hour and the daily. Last week we had a nice rally, we closed 220 pips higher than the opening. So we can flip the 4 hour from the bottom to the top 
and if we make new highs here this morning or later in the week without the correction, follow it with your FIP so that the trading zone can adjust. For now, we have a zone starting at 2,962, coming down to 2,88.6 in the zone. I will keep my eyes on this 55 EMA at 2,963, 2,924 and 2,910. Yeah, we have a 200 EMA that will move up, so 2,910, psychological level of 2,900 and then the 200 EMA will be my last port of call where I want to go long on this pair. I will prefer if we get, can get into the trading zone, but keep your eyes also on 3012 as we have a weekly main pivot point there, there's a psychological level there, the 34 EMA is there, and that can give us early support. Possible counter trades, have a look at 3150 and 3212. I would prefer if we can get to 3 to 12 because there's multiple reasons there. We have a weekly pivot point plus a psychological level there as well. So keep your eyes on that one. We might make a double top here, guys, at 3113. We already have MT divergence, so keep that in mind. Pound JPY, four hour chart. Yeah, last week everything tells us to long. We closed 48 pips higher than the opening, so we can flip the four hour from the bottom to the top. Then we've got a zone 14653. Coming down to 145.90. In the zone, we have the 55 EMA at 146.55. So I'll keep my eyes on that for good support and then to go long. If that 55 breaks, keep your eyes on 145.83 for long as well. Be careful if we get a long year because this 55 EMA at 146.54 can give resistance again. So take note of that with a long position. If we break 145.84 to the downside. Be careful as we can go and visit the last month's low area, or not last month's, last week's low area. So take note of that. Possible counter trades. I will only relook if we get to the psychological level of 148 and 148.54. Aussie on the daily chart. Look at this. We are getting closer to 2956. It's a monthly pivot point. The MACD is high, stochastic is overbought. If we go to the four hour chart, it's also a weekly pivot point. What can you guys spot? We have MACD divergence on the four hour chart. So keep your eyes on that. 2907 for possible counter trade. And if it breaks slightly to the highs, don't worry about it. Wait for confirmation on the smaller time frames. Look for MACD divergence on the 60 minutes and then that ribbon indicator on the 30 minutes give us a cross to the downside before we can short this pair but keep your eyes on that the correlated aussie jpy uh, doing exactly the same we're breaking to the upside this will be key level 89.00 89.65 we already have macd divergence look at this triple top and stochastic if we go to the four hour chart look at that monthly or rather the weekly second pivot point comes in at this psychological level here. So 89.00, 89.65 for possible counter trades. If we do get in, keep an eye on 88.01, 87.19, 86.99 for possible profit tax on that one. US dollar JPY daily chart. Why the daily chart? Well, the direction is long on this pair, guys. The direction indicator tells us to long on the daily. It's short on the 4 hour, so we can't flip the 4 hour because last week we closed 161 pips lower than the opening. So we will have to flip the daily for the zone. If we do that, we flip from the bottom to the top. Then we've got a zone triple 1170 going up down to 11026. In the zone, we've got a monthly pivot point plus this 200 EMA. So that will be key support levels, triple 145, triple 155. Before we get to that zone, at the 38.2 FIP, remember, uh, we always look for multiple reasons, not only the 38.2 FIP. Yeah, we have a 200 EMA, which is the 4 hour 200 EMA. We have a 55 EMA. We have a psychological level, if you look to the left of the chart, previous support resistance. So keep your eyes on that for possible turnaround. If we do spike through, then obviously these two levels in the Irvine Sky trading zone. If we do get longs, take note of this level here, 113.02, it's a 55 4 hour, so that can give us a roadblock for possible profit takes, and if that breaks, keep your eyes on 113.19. This will also be my areas for, for possible counter shorts at 113.19, not 90, okay, and then 
59. Why those areas? Look to the left of the chart. We had previous support resistance there. We have a monthly pivot point there. We had a psychological level. We have a double top there as well. We use dollar cat for our chart. Yeah, everything shouts at us to go short. Last week we closed 246 pips low in an opening. So if we do flip that, we can flip the four hour from last week's high to the current lows. Then we've got a zone 2785 going up to 2864. In the zone, we've got a psychological level, the 55 and the weekly pivot point. So keep your eyes on 2800, 2807, 2842. Year 2, if we get to the 58.2 FIP, we might have a problem at 2737. It's the 58.2 FIP, remember multiple reasons, 54 EMA is there, weekly main pivot point is there, look to the left, previous support resistance there as well. Possible counter trades, let's just quickly have a look at this. Keep your eyes on the psychological level at 2600, otherwise 2531. If we make new lows here, follow it with the FIP so that the earth and sky trading zone can adjust, adjust on that one. Use dollar index. Yeah, on the 4 hour chart. Why 4 hour? Well, it's red on the 4 hour. Daily tells us to short. Last week we had a nice drop. We closed 91 pips lower. So we can flip the 4 hour from the high of last week to the current lows. Then we've got a zone 95.44 going up to 95.81. In the zone at 95.41. We have a weekly pivot point, the 34 EMA is there, previous support. So 95.41, 95.63, we have the 62.5 FIP, the 55 EMA is there, previous support resistance. And then 95.80, we have the weekly pivot point, previous support resistance. So keep your eyes on those three levels. However, this morning we are hitting support at 94.65. It is a weekly pivot point, stochastic is oversold, we have MACD divergence and if this one finds support, we can get a counter trade and keep your eyes then on 95.26, 95.41 for possible profit take on that counter um, uh, long trade. We are having a webinar guys, uh, I think it's at 11 o'clock this morning, so please pop over, we will go through the charts again and you've got the chance then to ask questions. Mark, Judith and myself will be there. Have an awesome one. Cheers.